Hi everyone, good morning. This is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. I wanted to share some rosettes that I have been creating. Um, I wanted to add like a thank you. Um, let me move this up a little bit. I wanted to add like a thank you. Uh, when I make my kits and somebody buys them, I always like to add a little extras. So as you guys know, I created the sh Victorian Shabby Chic uh, embellishment kits. And... Um, so I wanted to make a some a thank you something to put in there. So this is what I created these uh, rosettes as part of that thank you because I didn't create any rosettes to go in this kit like I did in the B kit. So um, I thought, well, let me just make some. And I remembered that I had a corset uh, mold and I also had a little comb and brush mold i set them aside where did i what did i do with them uh, they're back here so this is the little uh mirror and comb silicone mold and all i used was air dry clay i will um i will link if i can find the air dry clay in the description box i doubt that i can find these molds on amazon usually the only things i link are on amazon and then this is the corset one glitter or something there and it's very very pretty so this is how they came out and to paint them um this first one right here is made of resin and uh, i did use a layer of this uh tool that I picked up and I'll link this in the description box what I liked about it is that it looks like lace and it has the uh, like sequin on it and it's very very sheer and see-through so you would still be able to see the rosette underneath you don't want to make a rosette and cover it all up and you can't even see it so I wanted you to be able to see the rosette because when I make my rosettes here's one right here um, I spray them. I hope you can see. I spray them with some shimmer mist that I made uh, following Tamika's uh, video. Tamika is Scrap the World here on YouTube. And she showed us how to make the shimmer mist with Dollar Tree products. And that's what I made. And so I spray these with the shimmer. And, and it, it's very pearlescent. And I love the way it looks. I use mica powders with mine. Uh, she used some kind of eyeshadow powder, eyeshadow, but I'm sure it works the same. Uh, I just happen to have the mica powder. And uh, I love the look. So I didn't want to cover up everything. But here is the first one. And I love, I, I created one with a pink rosette with the pink tool on there. And I wasn't real crazy about the way it looked. Let me see if I can find it so I can share it with you guys. I think I put it away. I wasn't too crazy about it. It's this one right here. Um, it was okay. I mean, it's pretty, but I don't know. I, I, it's something about the pink on pink that I really didn't care for. Uh, so I decided to, I tried a piece on this cream colored crepe paper that I sprayed with my shimmer mist. And I love the way this uh, looks, the contrast between the pink and the cream or ivory. And it is just so very pretty. I already had this little uh, dress form done, I mean corset done in the pink uh, resin. So all I did was just add gold to it and the way I add gold to my things I try to explain explain everything guys I don't always demonstrate things uh, but I hope that I can explain them well enough that you guys understand um, but I use this deco color premium uh, pen you can use any gold leafing pen, pen or these uh, pink pens this is the one that I use and if I can find it I'll link it in the description box and all I do is shake it up. It does have a little um, bead in there, you know, to shake it up. 
So that's all I do. And then I just trim the edges wherever I want gold. Um, so as you can see, I did it on the bodice. I mean, on the corset, on the bottom and on the top. I also did it around this little uh, sentiment word that I added there. And on the comb, I did it as well. And I love the way it looks. So there's one. And then I had some that I made with some air dry clay that it, it almost looks like foam. It has the, the feel, the texture of foam. And, um, but I didn't want them to go to waste. But by adding them to a rosette, it keeps a really, really lightweight. And they still look pretty because uh, for this particular one, I don't think I painted it. I think I added the paint to the clay. Uh, but you can paint these. And then all I did was add the gold to it and also on the mirror. And then there is the sentiment. So I love the way that one looks. And then the third one is this peach colored one that I already had made up. Again, it's that foam air dry clay. And look at how beautiful the gold stands out on the hand mirror. I love the way these look. So... As I was playing around, I thought I need to make some more green ones because I do have a green uh, kit that is more green. I have one that is more blue, one that's more pink, one that's more peach. So I kind of try and coordinate what I um, what I put in them. And I decided to uh, paint some of them. And I painted them with this folk art um, soft apple matte paint. And it was just too bright for me. And I thought I need to tone that down. And th those are these right here. They still have a hint of green. But I toned it down with this Martha Stewart pearl paint. And what color is this? It's, Mother of, it's called Mother of Pearl. I've had this for years, guys. And it hasn't dried up on me. And I mean years. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'll be able to find it, but any pink that's a mother of pearl, you could it would work. If I can find one, I will link one. So first I painted it with the green, and after it dried, I gave it a light coat with this one because this one's more, it's not so opaque, it's more translucent. So that's what I did there. And then I decided to add some, a little piece of pearl strand there in the cream color as well and I love 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 the way it looked and sometimes when you put the gold paint on it's not as metallic as you want it to be it doesn't stand out it gets kind of dull and when that happens to me I don't know if it's because I touch it before it's completely dry but after I put it wherever I want I'll go over the gold again to kind of just shine it back up and here is the other one. Again, I added a little strand of pearls. And I love the way these look. Now, I'm not going to do a tutorial on making the rosettes because Tara Finch on YouTube, uh, just look for a rosette tutorial. Um, and if Tara's, Tara's video probably will come up. And she has a great video on making the, uh, the rosettes. But look at how pretty it looks with that mother of pearl. It really toned it down quite a bit, but it didn't get rid of all the green. So it kept it a very light mint green. So I love the way that looks. I'm still working on more as you can see. Or let me move this. I don't know if you can see. But I have a little pile up here of uh, corsets and the, the combs and the mirror. Just little things that I'm using. And uh, on this one, this particular one, I use the lace that I bought for my kits, which is something like this. And I just snip off bits and pieces and add it. And I try not to cover it up with whatever I'm adding to my rosette. And it just looks uh, beautiful. I love the way it looks. Anyway, guys, that is all that I wanted to share with you all. If anybody is interested, I still have the blue kit. I have the lavender kit. And I have the green kit available. And I also have a bee theme kit left over from my last kits, which is a blue one. So just um, send me a message. Uh, or actually, I'm going to put my email in the description box. And you guys can email me. Uh, I'm not going to make these rosettes to sell. 
if this is just to show you what I created and give you ideas, uh, I'm adding these as just a thank you to my kids. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone is having a great day and God bless. Bye.